If you want to play this game right now for free, you can get it through the link in the description. It's basically a combination of Banner Lord with the Arma 3 or Squad. It's a unique symbiosis of global strategy tactics and first person action. Realistic mass battles, many types of armored vehicles, weapons, uniforms, unique mechanics, immersive free gameplay. You can lead the any state and bring it to greatness. Which basically talks about conquering the territory. Here are the factions that you can play with. Uh, most of them are locked. Democracy, Communism, Anarchy. Here are some names that I actually don't know. Are this real? Benevento. Benevento. A football club. <laughs> Italian. Basically Italians. Let's go with Italy then. <sighs> okay, so resource management, etc, etc. Basically what I hate in turn-based strategy games. Lugano, Potenza, Palloballo. Datis 2025. Here we go. Manual. You can make the fights automatic without jumping in. It's basically like Total War. Here's my squad. Right, boys, you ready? Uh, tap. Select all squads. Move. Right click. Let's go. Can I get squashed? Okay, I cannot. <laughs> so, where is the... Alright, okay. I can control my squads like that as well. Right, so my units are moving currently. As you can see, we have Humvee. Where are the enemies, though? I hear some footsteps. Okay. I guess we're gonna find out from tracers because currently I don't see anyone. Maybe they're around here somewhere. How big is the map? Alright. So as you can see, uh, I have 60 units. They have 50. But question is, where the heck are they? Attack. Okay, I pressed attack. Oh, here we go. Okay, we have contact. Here are they. Bunch of infantry, I see. Can I take control of this dude? H, direct control. Oh, nice. Let's give them hell, boys. I have to do everything by myself. Oh! <laughs> that RPG just wrecked me up. Okay. Mm, not good. <laughs> right. So by the look of it, I don't have tanks. And... Also it look... That's a team kill. So when I press tap, they have a green line around, so that's the way to tell if they're friend or not. They have RPG or something, because they're basically exploding our units. I didn't notice we have IF3. The thing is AI... Oh my god! Rest in peace IF3, thank god I didn't took control of it. AIs are kind of dangerous, like, oh my god. I'm getting it. Enemy down. 
that guy alive? No. Okay, victory. We got it. It's complete chaos. So obviously artificial intelligence have more advantage uh, than player does. So not sure if it's even a good idea to take control of some of the units. Because AIs just lock onto enemies much easier. Because they're codes, basically. As you can see, at the end of the battle, we got some loot, which is a cool mechanic. Like this type of mechanic works in medieval type of games, such as Bannerlord. But if it's like a modern combat, it's really hard to balance AIs with the guns. We have uh, research, production. Uh, I don't know what are the other two yet. Let's see. Oh, as you can see, research tech trade. This is basically what I was talking about in my last War Thunder stream. An infantry weapon tech tree. Let's check out the vehicles. We have Striker, A34, M60, Black Panther, M270. Oh, we have Abrams as well there. Love 25. Production. You even need to produce bullets, as you can see. Apparently your army can run out of the ammunition. That is insane. I think everybody needs to leave the vehicle. I press J. Okay, they're leaving the vehicle. Attack, boys. Everybody attack. Right now. Let me park this bit more carefully. Right. We have 30 units left. Guess I have to go manually here. They still have 88. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, I just got absolutely annihilated. They have a tank? You better be kidding me. <laughs> so that's why we're losing. Ooh, I have scope. Dude, like... Unbelievable. It's like as soon as I'm shoving myself, they're just straight up killing me. It's not fair. <laughs> like, even if I flank, they're just gonna turn and shoot. I and mean, that is so obvious. Just like that. How are you gonna fight against the Abrams? Oh my god, it's right there. Hello, Abrams. Let's just pop the smoke. Okay. As you can see, it's a barrel following me. So it actually knows I'm here. Maybe it doesn't have enough angle. It's not moving as well. Down. Defeat. <whistles> Guys, we got annihilated. <laughs> oh, I have a tank squad there. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll try to combine these two units. Let's see. Go here, go here, go here. Yeah, maybe, guys, you need to do this at the beginning, like combine all of your units, then attack. Now I have tank forces as well. Try to destroy this guys. Let's see. I have 99 manpower. Oh my god. Yeah, now I'm doubling them. <laughs> I'll control the Abrams this time. Let's see how it feels. Ooh. I'm gonna have this ATGM thingy. Okay, I can switch between cannon and machine gun by pressing V, but I can't con take control of the top machine gun apparently. Alright everyone, attack. Let's go. I'll just follow you. We have some environment destruction as well. This seems different, I mean, I like how tank is bumping. 
Oh, that's actually a bit unrealistic, yeah. In real life, it would have a uh, tank-like suspension. Uh, what's happening? Alright, got that one. Just lost a lot, by the way. Looks like they destroyed uh, one of the IFVs. Did RPGs just one shotting Abrams from frontal? Guys, what are you looking at each other? Attack! <laughs> this is certainly playable, but uh, not really pleasant. Alright, they have 25 units left. I don't even see them. But our boy's killing them. Yeah, here is the problem, like, as I said, I guess this is playable as a strategy game now, but from the first person, facing a cheating artificial intelligence, it's not a fun experience. If all of these models were players, maybe, maybe it would have been playable, uh, but again, it's a really interesting concept. In Hoi 4, you just stare at the map, left click, right click, but here you can be inside the battle. And this is a really big thing, if you're gonna ask me. Of course, this game is not deep as Hoi 4 yet, it probably never will be. Apparently this game has resource management and stuff. Maybe trading. I can research this in 20 days. I really want to research the Abrams though. We also need RPG, yeah. Meme Battalion. So as you can see, you can roleplay as well. Uh, customizing nicknames. Research success. I'm in a research tree right now. And I'm selecting this pistol. Okay. Some of them are not available. Maybe this is just because of pistol. Yeah, as you can see, there's attachments. So when you switch to it, it can be useful. Yeah, it, it's probably not useful for AI. I don't know. Militia uniform. When I hover over it, I don't see any effects popping up. Uh, maybe it would have say increases camouflage by 10% or something, then yeah, I would have said it's sufficient for AI as well. But yeah, I see some attachments here, silencers, suppressors, scope. There is bread, fuel, ammunition. It is hardcore supply manager thingy. Wow, so I sent the manpower to Lugano, but I think I need to arm them as well. If you want to try this game out, link will be in the description. It is quite interesting, but as I said, it needs to be worked on. Currently it's playable, but you might get pissed really quickly because of this supply management. But if you like Hoi 4, Squad, Arma 3, I highly suggest you to check this game out. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.